I'm here today with Gwen Graham and Kathy Wood, who are responsible for five murders at the Alpine Manor Nursing Home in Grand Rapids, Michigan, in 1987. We're here 28 years later to discuss the murders from a first-hand source, the Lethal Lovers, as they describe themselves. So, you two, how are you guys doing today? Depressed. Besides the fact that I'm serving five life sentences? Okay. Uh... Okay, let's start off by talking about your life before the murders. Uh, what was life like before all this went down? Uh, Kathy? Uh, I was married and I had a daughter. I was suffering from depression. I was very self-conscious about my weight, as you can tell. And then I was started working at Alpine Manor and became a licensed practical nurse with my secondary certificates. And then I divorced my husband. Poor guy. All right, Gwen? I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I started working at the Alpine Manor Nursing Home in 1987. Guys, I think I'm going to go work at Alpine Manor now. Peace out. I really think I need to start working out. I can't do this. <laughs> so, were there any indications that you guys were gonna be murderers? Well, way back in the day, I told my husband that I'd be very curious to figure out what it'd feel like to stab someone. But other Ooh. than that, no. Hmm. So, when did you two meet each other, per se? Well, we started working at Alpine Manor, and we became friends, and then lovers. Yeah, and then I divorced my husband for her, because I thought she was the love of my life. That's obviously not the case anymore! So, tell us about the first killing. It was an elderly woman with Alzheimer's, if I'm not mistaken. How did you two feel? It was all her fault. I did nothing. Well, actually, you were playing a mind game the whole time. But to answer your question, yes, I did kill her, and I smothered her with a washcloth, and she was too weak to fight back. But Kathy was a lookout, so basically, she's guilty too. But at least I get out in six years, and you get to die in jail. Yeah, and that's because your stupid ex-husband routed us out. Yay! <laughs> so I take it that you guys are no longer together. Tell us what happened and why your relationship ended. Well, she told me to kill someone, and when I said no way, she left me for another woman and ran off to Texas. Okay, killing someone was going to be your way of proving your love to me. And you didn't, so that means you didn't love me. So can you believe me for leaving with someone else? Ah, uh, yes! Whoa, whoa, it's getting really rowdy in there. All right, calm down. Keep it civil, please. So anyways, how many total people did you guys kill? And did you guys do anything significant before or after the murders? Well, I did take souvenirs from them, such as jewelry and money, but the cops never found them. Um, and yes, we did kill, we killed about five people, I believe, but that was all, co co that was all part of the murder game. What is the murder game? Basically, the murder game is just to make it more fun. We started killing people, so their initials would just spell out murder, but then that became too difficult. Yeah, once that became too difficult, because we were only limited to the old people in our nursing home, we um, decided to make a new game where we would say a phrase every time we killed someone, like, I will love you forever and a day. This is really hard. Agreed. Let's do something else. Uh, 
after we kill people, we go into this thing called sexual effexia. What's sexual effexia? Oh my gosh, you're going to make me explain it. Well, it's basically like you restrict, you strangle someone to restrict their airflow and it gets them sexually aroused because there's no, there's not enough oxygen going to their brain. Alrighty, that sounds interesting. But how'd you guys get caught? Okay, so 14 months after all this went down, she ran her ex-husband and told him everything and he went to the cops and ratted us out. But he was only trying to help me. What? You know that girl Gwen that I was telling you about? Yeah? What about her? All together we killed five people. And now she's sending me letters from Texas with her new girlfriend telling me how she wants to smash infant's faces. We should probably tell the police about this. Good idea. I didn't do anything. I was just on lookout. I didn't even kill anyone when she asked me to. How do you plea? She manipulated me by playing a mind game. Killing people was our way of proving our love to each other, and she was in on it, so that makes her guilty too. You are being charged with one account of secondary murder and one act of conspiracy of secondary murder. You will serve 40 years total in prison. Gwen Graham, please stand up. Um. You are being charged with five life sentences in prison. Have a good day. You're lucky Michigan doesn't have the death penalty. You would've been killed 28 years ago. I'd rather be dead than be in prison for five lives. Well, thanks for taking time out of your jail sentences to be here with us today. This was a great interview. Good luck in those cells, ladies. Wow. It doesn't work. It's too climatic. I can't take you seriously when you play with it. Please stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That he's a short haired cat. We were like, that is not short hair. We like, what is he doing? Why is he eating? Buster, stop eating stuff. And we were like, you're an idiot. He's definitely not a short haired cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's so creepy. Stop laughing. It's